Yo, what is going on guys? It is Obey Divinity here and today I'm going to be working in After Adobe After Effects to teach you guys how to motion track using Element 3D. I think I talk too much. So pretty much I'm going to be going a little in depth here so I hope you guys have time to hang out with me and learn Element 3D. We're going to be going through here and I'm going to be teaching you how to get your text to sit on the ground as well as have shadows and have it begin to appear from behind a wall. What we're going to be doing here, let's delete all this and start a fresh project. Um, we got our cinematic here. So I added my cinematic in. Next thing we can do is you're going to right click and you're going to click track camera. That will open up your 3D camera tracker and once you're all done, you'll, you should have all these points. Um, 3D camera tracker should have analyzed the map and everything like that for your cinematic. So you could pretty much, like since I have all these trackers, I could technically have my text here. I could have my text on the wall, sticking out next to the wall. Um, but in this tutorial, I want to have it right back here on this in this ground right here since it's like kind of in the middle of these two walls here, which looks pretty nice in my opinion. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to create a null in camera. Okay, after that, I am going to create my text. Um, I'm going to name this tutorial. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to hide the text by going over here and clicking the eye. I'm going to now make my element 3D layer. So I'm going to press Control and Y, which will open up a solid. Or you can go up to Layer, New, and click Solid here. And I'm going to name this Element 3D. Okay, cool. Now we're going to add our element 3D to our element 3D layer. So we're going to go to our effects and presets and type in element, or you can go up to effect and go to video copilot element. So let's double click that, add that to our element 3D layer. So now we are going to go to custom layers here, um, where it says custom text and maps. That is going to be your text, whatever your, um, you know, your name of your cinematic is going to be, or your motion track. So we're going to drop that down here, and where it says Path Layer 1, it, I'm going to add my text. Down here it's Tutorial, here it's Tutorial, here too. Okay, so now we're going to add our Cinematic and Custom Texture Maps. I, I renamed my Cinematic Map just to make it easier for you guys, so um, I'm going to click Map here. Okay, I'm going to go to Scene Set, I'm going to go into um, Element 3D now. Okay, now that we're in Element 3D, we are going to get our text on the screen. So you're going to go click Extrude. Okay, awesome. Looks good. You can um, go to Bevel and Scale and increase the depth if you want or anything like that. You can make it thicker or thinner if you want. Okay, so we're going to add our um, Chrome onto our text now or whatever um, texture you want to use. So you can go down and click Physical or wherever you want to go and I'm going to add Chrome for this tutorial. Um, we're gonna go up to environment and here this one should be the map so I'm gonna click OK. You can also go to environment and choose any of these um, environments there if you want but for this tutorial I want the reflective texture for the, um, the cinematic. So now I'm gonna click OK and as you know, don't see the text. It's right there. You don't want the text there. We want the text to be here. Just go to your null, your track null one layer. You're going to click that. And on the screen, you see a little red dot because that is where the null is placed. So you're going to click P. Okay, you're going to go to your element 3D layer. You're going to go to group one and make sure group one is enabled. And you're going to go to your um, particle replicator here. And you're pretty much just going to copy and paste the position to the element 3D layer. So paste that there, paste the middle one to the right one. And the last one is your position Z, your Z distance. Okay, cool. There's the text, but obviously we want it to be bigger and centered. What you do now is you're going to go to particle look and you're going to increase the size of the text. That looks pretty pretty good there okay and you can also move it back if you want as well okay that looks pretty good you can raise it a little bit okay so I'm gonna go to rotation now and I'm gonna fix the way it's um, tilted 
So I'm gonna turn it. Okay, good. So if you scroll through, you see the text is actually moving. So we we wanna bring this up a little bit. Use the Z distance. Okay. And I wanna fix the way it's angled. Okay, cool. It's pretty nice. I can actually just angle it a little more. Like that. Alright, that looks pretty nice. Okay, that looks good. Alright, so what we're gonna be doing now, I'm gonna get some shadows in the little in the middle of these texts. Like there's a sun back here or something. You know, you, it's, and realistically you're gonna have shadow. We're gonna go down to render settings. We're gonna go to ambient occlusion. Enable ambient occlusion. And then you can intensify it. You can bring this up here and you see that there is now shadows. But you don't want it too harsh because shadows are normally soft. So I'm gonna bring this down to probably like 38. That looks pretty good there. Okay. Now let's get out of that. And you can now go, go to output. And um, you can kind of see it kind of looks a little choppy doesn't look really smooth. If you go to multi-sampling and turn this up to 38, it looks a lot smoother than it was at eight. Okay, very nice. So now we're gonna be adding the shadows on the ground underneath of tutorial. So for that, this up, you're gonna go back into scene, set up an element. Okay, so now we're gonna go to, um, if you have a starter pack, you can um, go to four. You can add a four fracture, or if you have a normal plane in here, just like a a square, you can add that as well. I'm gonna add the four fracture. I'm going to bring this down, probably to like right there, and then I'm going to scale this and make this bigger. I'm gonna scale it down just a little bit. So like if there's a shadow. Or the, it looks like the text is kind of in the ground a little bit as well. I'm, I'm clicking on four fracture. Make sure you're clicked on that. I'm gonna go to physical, and you're gonna click match shadow. So what that's gonna do is add the shadow. See if I go back in, and I add if I click on four fracture and I click black gloss, you're gonna see the plane there. So let's just make sure match shadow is clicked on there. Cool. So now we have the shadow underneath of tutorial. Now we have our text. We're almost on the tutorial, guys. Hopefully you're still with me. Now we want to have the text appear from behind this wall here. This is actually pretty simple. You're going to, we're gonna duplicate this by pressing Control D. You can just copy and paste it, Control C, Control V. Bring this um, duplicated cinematic above all your layers above your element 3D. And let's um, hide this for now. And let's look and see right when the wall is going to meet up with the, the 3D here. So it looks like it's gonna start there. So we can go to your pen tool here and make a mask around this because it's gonna be going behind this wall, so you wanna make a mask behind the wall. So we're gonna make a mask. Um, click M on your cinematic here. Um, click, make a keyframe for mask path here. Okay, cool. So let's go through this, and all you gotta do is move the mask path here. So this is what happens. It hides it behind there. Cool, so let's go through here. You can move this here as well. Just keep moving it along the wall until it is completely behind the text, until the text is completely behind the wall. Roll through and see sometimes it's not lined up, so you just want to go through and make sure that's lined up and everything like that. Make sure the mask stays with the wall. You see it's kind of like going off there. Just move it over a little bit. Cool. 
going through, going through. And then we can trim this right here since it ended. And that's that. Um, that's pretty much it. So what you can also add if you wanted to, you can click on your element 3D layer. You can click camera lens blur. Add that on there and like just like if you're recording and you're going in front of your text you know it's gonna get out of focus so you can make a keyframe kind of like right before the text and as you get closer you can keyframe it and bring this to like 10 so it gets you know blurry kind of gives it that little effect there if you guys um enjoyed this element 3d tutorial I hope I didn't go too fast for you guys. I wanted to cover everything in a decent amount of time. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like. If you have any other video suggestions, um, let me know in the comments of the video or tweet at me at Obey Divinity. That's pretty much it. Catch you guys later. Peace.